when I was uh, researching um, for Your Brain at Work, my new book, um, I was interviewing over 30 scientists, uh, neuroscientists, to find out kind of how the brain works in different situations. And one thing that kept coming up over and over, was, um, especially from the social neuroscience people, was this idea that there were um, different social situations that created um, either a reward response or a threat response in the brain. Um, and the threat response was something that was quite overwhelming and tended to shut down uh, executive function and make it difficult to, uh, to think. And I kept hearing this over and over over several years that um, you know, if you were in a situation that you felt was unfair, uh, you'd get a threat response. If you're in a situation you felt someone was attacking you, um, you know, attacking your, uh, your credibility or something, um, you'd get a threat response. And, and my brain really wanted to organize all this information and find a way to, put it, to, to kind of put it together into some kind of uh, framework that was easy to remember. And uh, I spent about two years thinking about this and eventually came up with this concept of the SCARF model, um, which is S-C-A-R-F. And the SCARF model ties together what I think are the key social domains that either are rewarding for us or are um, threatening for us. Um, they stand for status, um, which is your, literally where you feel you are in the picking order. Uh, certainty, which is your perception of... Uh, of, of how well you can, can um, predict the future. Autonomy, which is a feeling of, of having choices, of being able to make choices. Relatedness, which is all about feeling safe with other people, so trust versus distrust. Uh, and fairness, which is uh, you know, a feeling of uh, fair connections and fair exchanges with others. And what I've come to see is that this SCARF model is, is, is something that is driving our behavior mostly subconsciously all the time. We're always driven to avoid looking bad, to avoid situations that are uncertain, um, to avoid situations where we have no choices or we don't trust people and things are unfair because those things are threats. Those things create a threat response which feels like danger. And we're drawn towards situations that make us look good in the eyes of others, increase certainty, etc. And it's been fascinating to see how much these different functions drive behaviour. Uh, you can read a lot more about this in uh, my paper uh, published in the um, Neuroleadership Journal and there's also a, um, a paper on this coming out in Strategy and Business uh, later in 2009 as well. They'll both be helpful readings to further dive into this. But I'm beginning to see that the SCARF model is a, a, a really significant uh, framework for understanding how to collaborate with others more effectively and also how to influence others better as well.